In this video I'm going to be introducing the roots of quadratic equations. So, in its most generalised form, a quadratic equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is zero. So, if I then say, well, this equation has the roots uh, alpha and beta, then what I'm saying is that there must be some way of factorising it so that alpha and beta are the roots that I can get from that equation. So, if you're starting with an equation like this, then to simplify the problem, you can divide through by a to get x squared plus b over ax plus c over a equals zero. So what we're saying is that this equation can be factorised into x minus alpha and x minus beta equals zero. This is what it means for this equation to have the roots alpha and beta, so that it can be factorised into that form. So what I want to do is make a comparison between this equation and this equation and see what's the same. So if you expand that equation out, this, the double brackets, we're going to get x times x is x squared, x times minus beta, so minus beta x, minus alpha times x, so minus alpha x, and minus alpha times minus beta, so that's alpha beta, which is going to be equal to zero. Now you could rewrite that as x squared minus alpha plus beta x, so you factorise the alpha and beta into the bracket, plus alpha beta is zero. So really what we want to do is compare this equation with this equation. So if you do that, then we can see that we've got the x squared to the same, that's fine. But it's, we've got minus alpha plus beta is equal to b over a. So minus alpha plus beta is equal to b over a. And we've got alpha beta is equal to c over a. So from that, what we can say is that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b over a, and alpha beta is equal to c over a. And this is a very important result. This is the sum of the roots, because that is where we're adding the roots together, alpha plus beta, and this is the product of the roots. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at in this chapter is considering um, what we can do, manipulations with alpha and beta. So we might want to find uh, a quadratic whose roots are um, a mixture of alphas and betas, and we can use these results in order to find them. Okay, so in the next video I'm going to show you how you can identify the sum and the product of the roots of a quadratic equation.